Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix the backlit problem with hair. So I have here for example my stylized hair uh, shader pack and uh, initially there was this backlit control that showed issues of not working, nothing was happening and in previous versions I gave you some pointers where to fix the shader script inside the engine but there's a much simpler solution now that I realize that and let's just look at the the graph here so I'm going to go into the one of these master nodes and what I've added is this two-sided texturing and all I'm doing is multiplying the the incoming value which would have went straight to the base color multiplying that with a value that's this backlit value. So if it's a low number, basically the value coming in is being more shifted towards black. And you can see I've plugged that into the B side of two-sided texturing. So it's basically going between um, this and um, the, the value coming in being multiplied basically is the inside, the other side of the, the mesh which in our case, you know, makes sense because of the two-sided effect. Let's just check that out. So you can see the whole hair is kind of glowing a bit and everything's cool from this end. So it's the inner faces, it's the, the faces pointing inward uh, on this two-sided shader. This only works with two-sided based shaders and hair obviously is one of those. We want to see both sides, otherwise it's going to look odd. Um, so now that that's there, I basically have emissive color as well for some effect, and basically I've multiplied both. So the incoming vo emissive value would have went straight to emissive, but instead I'm multiplying it by this backlit value, which basically happens to both of these. These go into the B side individually, because one's for albedo and one's for emissive. I don't need the mask or anything like that. But that's the simplest the simplest fix for the backlit effect. Um worked quite well because backlit only it makes sense for a two sided shader. So you don't have to go and fix the engine. I'm gonna go back and just update the previous versions and add these nodes because it's super simple. Um, but if you want to add these in just use the backlit um value that's sitting down here. Um, the incoming value into base color would have looked like that. You just want a multiply node, plug it into the top, backlit into the bottom, and this into the two-sided texture. And to find, find this node, just right click and type in two-sided texturing, not two-sided sign. That's a little different. Um, two-sided texturing. Okay, um, so plug that in there. Then the result is this top one and instead put that into base color. So we're just doing this little kind of hack to get the backlight to work. In theory, that's what backlight should be doing, but it doesn't. <laughs> so I don't know what's what's missing in their, their shader that's uh, stopping that, but uh, something's overriding that, that node. So we don't actually need that. I can unplug it there. Doesn't make any sense. Um, I'm pretty sure with it unplugged now, I won't get any different things happening. Fiddly navigation. Um, trying to get the light behind this. So, uh, so if I apply this, this should look exactly the same. It's a standard material. Let it go grey for a second as well. Yeah, so it's pretty much the same. Let's just put a, a value in here to test. So I'll just do one, right click, convert to parameter, call this test, just in case I'm mistaken. Put that in there, it's got no, no value in it. It's got a bit of spread around there. Yeah, it's exactly the same. I'm not seeing any extra with it. 
so we don't need that there anymore. So you've got backlit multiplying the pre emissive color with the backlit value going into the um, the B side, basically the side where the light is hitting the, the normals pointing inward and you know the original one going into the top. So if you see that the original color goes into the A side, we want that to look normal and then anything that's backlit, i.e. the back side, the inner side of your polys, um, that's the one that's going to be affected by this backlit. Right. Um, so that's now the new result for emissive colour. And that's the elegant fix. So I hope you enjoy this video and now you can make any fix to the backlit issue for other situations that you might have for translucent materials like leaves or foliage or thin materials. Um, hope you enjoy using this product if you bought it as well and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!